Hello guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Robothought Zero to Hero series. My name is Anbu Kumar, also known as AK. <clears throat> All right, so in the previous video, I just gave you an introduction about, you know, about this channel, what we are going to do. I also showed you Jetson Nano uh, and also gave you an introduction about where the series is going to be right where we are going to take forward over a period of time you know maybe you know six to eight months time students from schools colleges or even hobbyists or professionals who do not have any knowledge about coding or embedded systems or electronics they can straight away start from here this is where the future is going to be right all right in uh, today's lesson, we are going to uh, talk about, you know, uh, how to set up Jetson Nano on a headless mode, right? So that means when you bought your Jetson Nano, uh, you, as I showed you in my previous uh, uh, chapter in the previous tutorial, how to set it up, how to boot it up uh, using getting started lesson from NVIDIA site, right? I hope you are done, guys, and uh, I hope you, you, you were able to configure the Wi-Fi and the basic password setup and kind of thing. Now, today, take out your Windows laptop or Mac OS. I'm going to show you how to log into Jetson Nano remotely through your laptop system. Okay, so let me share my screen uh, and then we'll uh, take it forward from there. So what I'm going to do is let me show you how to download a tool called putty okay uh, what you got to do is you just have to open your browser all right I'm just here and here what you need to do is download P U T T Y for Windows if you have a Mac machine you need to type for Mac or whatever it will just show it up so you need to go to this particular link called putty.org okay uh, once you go there the first the top one you can download putty here go here all right i would prefer to go for the exe file so my system my laptop excuse me my laptop is 64 bit exe so i'm going to click here i had already installed guys so i'm not going to download again and install it so I'm just going to show you once you install right it, you you will install a zipped file that's going to be saved into your download folder from there you got to open this exe and double click and follow the instruction it just next 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 accept to the terms and condition follow and that's going to create a small icon on your desktop with two small computers I'm going to show you how it looks like hold on a second so I'm, I'm i'm going to show you how to open up putty right all right so let me show you so this is what my desktop is here you can see a small putty logo double click that and uh, all right i'm going to show you first uh, I'm, i was supposed to show you how to capture your jetson nanos ip address but anyways i'll do that give me a second so this is my Jetson Nano's IP address 192.168.1.44 I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it here all right and then I'm going to go to appearance make the fonts little big so probably I think 18 or 16 is good enough maybe 18 yeah and then I'll make it as bold all right countdown begins I am going to log into my Jetson Nano remotely boom wow here there you go can you see my screen here guys one second let me just I am just gonna show you all right guys I hope you are seeing my screen there you go all right now i have logged into putty using putty i have logged into jetson nano which is just right across here let me just show it to you i i have plugged into my system 
I hope you can see it. This is just powered up and it's running. Okay. Now let me just try to log in. ANBU is my login ID. I'm not going to tell you my password. All right. There you go. I'm able to log in. All right, guys. Now let me show you how to uh, capture the IP address of your Jetson Nano. When you boot it up for the first time using a physical monitor and a keyboard, right? So you will get you you have a terminal window. So how do you open the terminal window? It's simple. You just have to keep the mouse on your screen. Right click, open terminal. Once you open up the terminal, you will get this kind of window, right? What you need to do is type I P C O N F I G I P config. Once, oh, oops, what is that? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just getting used to Windows. It's IF config. <laughs> we are using Linux, right? All right. IF F config. Boom. There you go. So if you, if, you, if you look at it here, you need to scroll down and you got to look for WLAN 0. This is your IP address. This is my IP address. Yours will be different, of course, depending upon what kind of Wi-Fi you have. Remember, guys. Once you make a note of this IP address, you know, this might change probably once in a while because this is this is a dynamic IP, but hopefully not most of the time. Most of the time it works, right? So copy this IP address, keep it safe. Uh, and then what you need to do, as I showed you on my screen, you got to open up you got to open a putty and put your password there right so once you put in there and click ok you are going to get into this particular terminal welcome guys now you are in a headless mode you know what does mean that means you don't require a monitor or a keyboard or a mouse for Jetson Nano it's somewhere else you know you can you can leave Jetson Nano powered up anywhere within your house or anywhere within your WLAN network right which is connected you need to be connected in the same network all right guys so what does that mean this also means that you can just leave that small piece of computer Jetson Nano anywhere else and you can log in and start working on that you you can do tons and millions and millions of stuff remotely remotely guys just imagine the possibilities I'm going to show you one by one, one by one, how you are going to do that. All right. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Uh, the next chapter I'm going to talk about, we are really going to get into the details, into line by line commands. It's going to be more on terminal and I'm going to teach you, you know, from the scratch, you're going to learn Python and parallelly, you will also learn how to use the terminal commands, Linux terminal commands okay guys all right thank you for watching do please subscribe do give a like leave a comment down and i hope you know you are going to enjoy these videos there are going to be hundreds and thousands of videos coming up very soon thank you very much bye bye